I mean, the comes community while he was on bail. Because that's what brought about this escalation. IPOB, as you didn't want to discuss with him, were known to be peaceful protestants. They went about their protests and all of that peacefully. There was no moment anywhere, even though they crippled activities, economic activities and all of that. But there, there was no moment anywhere in history at that early stage where it was recorded that they took to arms or that they took to violence until that invasion yeah. and all of that. And then here we are today. Mm -hmm. Do you think, sir, it could have been handled differently? Yes. And that invasion, were you in the know yes. as I was chief security officer of the state? I was not told that anything like that was going to happen. You were not told? No, I was not told. Um, I only saw the GOC, who was at Tenugu that time, um, show up in my office and uh, told me that he would arrest Namde. And I said, why? I said uh, that uh, he has orders to arrest an American. I said, okay, could you give me a few hours? Let me, uh, someone, the traditional ruler. His father, uh, late now, was the traditional ruler. Yeah. And the GOC said, okay, let him give me some time. So I quickly assembled the traditional rulers. And uh, the traditional rulers came. And I went to the GOC. I said, GOC, let's go talk to the traditional rulers before you do this. And then we went there spoke to traditional rulers and we set a committee of three or four traditional rulers. The head of the uh, traditional rulers council in Abia at that time said, go to Namdes, father, your colleague, because it's just uh, a stone true from government house. So persuade him to come and have a word with the GOC. Let us see if we, if we can talk about it. Uh, and they went and the man refused to. He said, well, that they, 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 they that they're under siege already, that because we started noticing some military movements. And the, while you were still having the conversation with yes, the GOC? Yes, 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 because he, I think the soldiers had moved into Vim. That's uh, a headline for me, <laughs> that the chief security officer of the state yes. was not told yeah. before such invasion. Hello, great people. Great people of Biafra Freedom Fighters, lovers of freedom are great people all over the world. <clears throat> You are welcome back again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazen Namdekano. My names are Mazi Okenna Okechuku, known as Biafran Chai Dunwa Chineke, the general. My great people, I have back again today. OKZ Azo have finally tell us his involvement in the Invasion of Mazen Namdekano's premises. OKZ Bazo is lying to his state. There is something that I want you people to understand on this interview by OKZ Bazo. I want you people to understand that some of our people can lie to a dead person, somebody that is already dead, they can lie against the person. Because of what I don't even understand. Because of something that I don't even know what they are looking for. Because of they want to be a fool and a boy. They will keep on lying to their kid. Now you, are, you people have understood the involvement of OKZ Bazo. Trying to assassinate the leader of indigenous people of Biafra 2017. Now you begin to understand it. But there's something that I want you people to understand on this. The reporter, he was so surprised. He said that he is so surprised that the chief officer of the state don't even know that the army were already in Mazen Namdekano's house. Now you begin to understand. You see this thing that Okay Zeban said. Believe you me, we have to go and wake up the jack, the dog of Mazen Namdekano, because the jack has to testify on this that OKZ Bazo is liar from pit of hell. Like I said before, how do you think that an officer, a security officer of the state, don't know they are coming to invade somebody's house? Where is governing? That is what OKZ Bazo is telling you. That it is not aware. OKZ Bazo also said that he was not being told 
that they are going to, you know, <laughs> they are going to kill Mazen Namdekano because that is the reason they are going there to assassinate him. But I will shock every one of you. I will let you people understand the involvement of OKC Bazo in that invasion. Not only invasion, to assassinate the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. Now some people will be surprised that OKC Bazo don't know that Ame are there. That OKC Bazo was not known. They didn't have idea that they have already surrounded Mazen Namdekano premises. Now listen to what OKC Bazo said. I had the same conversation because OKC Bazo said that they sent some traditional rulers to go to Afarukui Beku because he, he also let us know that the, the government house is not far away from uh, from Mazen Namdekano, the Mazen Namdekano's compound, which is uh, 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 um, our our Igwe, Igwe Israel Kano. May their soul rest in peace and law. May their soul rest in peace. We must always remember you people on this struggle. We can never forget what you, have, you people have done for us to be here today. You people have sacrificed a lot on this struggle. You people, you know, your life was being taken because of this struggle. And that is something that we, those that know what we are doing in this struggle, can never forget. We will keep on remembering you people. As the Israel can and law can, we will keep on. May your people's souls rest in peace. He said, he said, he said. Let me continue. Okay, Z Bazo also let us know that when he sent some people to go and call Mazin Nam the Kano's father so that he will come in hearing of what they are discussing, by the time that the people get there, their house is already on siege. Their house is under siege. The army have already begun to shoot and destroy. And OKC also is telling us that he's not aware that these people were dead. I want you people to know that OKC also have lied against the dead person. That OKC also telling you that he, he, he is the security officer, chief, for that matter, chief security officer of a state that is governing the army with those kind of sophisticated weapon, assorted rifle with battalions, they are there. Okay, see, as is telling you that you don't know. Let, let me shock you people. If you people haven't forgotten, there is one certain time on Radio Biafra, somebody called. We are saying that why they did not do such a, 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 a parade or such a thing in northern part of Nigeria that nobody is ready to pay the money. But the governors in eastern region pay them a huge amount to come and do that job. That is why they are there. And if you people haven't forgotten, remember that Mazen Namdekanu said it by himself on his broadcast. That all the properties they took from his house, they put it in their house of uh, in uh, in the government house where OKZ Bazo was governing. They they put it on the floor and they were laughing at Mazen Namdekano that they have dealt with him. And now OKZ Bazo was telling you that he's not aware. OKZ Bazo can lie to a dead person. OKZ Bazo knows what really happened. There is no how on this earth. A governor will be at seat and somebody will come with that such a huge battalion in a state that is governing and they don't know. I want you people to understand that Obezi Bazo, Okezi Bazo has told us his involvement of invasion of Mazen Nandekano house or his father's house. This is what I bring to you people. Let this thing get to our people so that they will know how these people can lie. This is how they lie to their teeth. I am just laughing. Remember what I told you people. These people are going to Abuja to bring those military in uniform, which is terrorist in uniform. And the government of, from Abuja, they are coming. They made themselves on the road. And they have the same agenda to assassinate the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. 
OKZ Ibazo is involved. This one that he's telling us is a lie. There is no how on this planet of a governor of a state, a chief security officer, that they are bringing or they brought such a huge battalions with armor tanks, fighter jet, and he's not aware. He's lying. Okay, see, and he's lying. I'm just trying to tell you people that he's lying. Let this video get to him. We have busted them. We have debunked them and busted them. They can never go scot free. These people are mad people. They can deceive. They can deceive people like us because we are here from day one when all this thing is happening. Now, okay, see, as he's lying to his state. He is lying to his state. Good day and welcome.